Hey everybody, John Fulford here. I had one of the worst gym days I've ever had today. Definitely the worst one I've had in a while. I know a lot of y'all, especially um, my people around the world that aren't in Gainesville, Florida, see me posting stuff. I'm at the gym, I'm lifting this weight, I'm lifting that weight, yada, yada, yada. But today, it was nothing short of a travesty. So I'm gonna tell y'all about one of the worst days I've had in a while. Definitely the worst day I've had in a while. So this morning, I woke up, I had some breakfast, and I had a headache. So I reached for what I thought was the Advil, but instead was sleeping pills I would use to futilely help combat jet lag back when I was flying around to different places. And I realized that I took a sleeping pill just after I swallowed it. I figured it was easier just to let the day play out instead of me trying to like force myself to puke it back up. Bulimia is not a road I wanna go down. So of course, I fell back asleep for a few hours. I woke up, uh, I had just enough time to get food before the gym. I didn't have enough time to cook food. So I went to Winn-Dixie and had some of their delicious hot bar wings and mac and cheese. Um, by the time I got to the gym, the oatmeal was already percolating. And I, I, I you know, I, I, was on a, I was still on a sleeping pill. I only fell asleep for like two or three hours because I took the sleeping pill after I woke up. I got to the gym and I was I was just farting like a motherfucker. I, I hit a PR squat that felt 25 pounds lighter than usual because the fart propelled me up as I was squatting. And I wish I could say there were silent farts, but they were so loud. I I wanted to laugh when I when I was squatting, but I couldn't because I'd failed the squat. So luckily I didn't laugh. I hit a PR squat. That's cool. But then I was yawning, I was leaning on the bar, falling asleep like this, like I was in like one of them things, stockade things, back like in the medieval fair, you get in that thing like that. Um, I, I, I barely hit my warm up on the overhead press, there was no way I could hit my working weight, which was like two or three pounds higher than my, it was one rep of one. My working set was a one, one rep max, I tried, I couldn't hit it. So then I said, alright, let's just try to do some deadlifts, and... On the 135 pound deadlift, which is so light for me now, thankfully, that it's almost hard because you can't, there's nothing to lift. It's like if you're trying to punch my hand and my hand's all loose, you can't really punch it. But if my hand's tight, you could punch, you know, like, so it was really loose. It was, it was kind of almost hard in a way to lift it. But I'm lifting it and the bar is scraping against my shin, which is, that shows good form. And I look down at my leg, my leg and my, sh my right leg of my shorts is covered in blood there's blood everywhere covered in blood um so i just went to the bathroom i wiped there's just blood everywhere everywhere my shorts are stained blood all, like what was that nick cave in the bad seeds line blood running down of her leg well that was in that song do you love me i think off of the let love in album if i might be mistaken um that was me, blood running down the outside of his leg, okay? Um, I just thought of that right now. So it was, it was not a good day at the gym. Everyone else is hitting their, their reps and missing and, you know, having a good time. And I just couldn't generate any power. I'm farting left and right and loud-ass farts. My right leg bloody. And, and so I just, like, I had no power, so I went home. And it's 100% my fault. That's the thing. Like when you say, well, how come you messed up at the gym? It wasn't, I can't say, well, I wasn't feeling it that day. No, it was 100% my fault. 100% my fault. I reached for the Advil and then I took the sleeping pills by mistake. Someone at the gym remarked, you sure you didn't take Xanax? I'm like, well, if I took Xanax, it would be in and out within four hours. Right? It'd be in and out in four hours. This sleep over the counter sleep nonsense it's probably with me for the next week and a half so today's friday i'm gonna take tomorrow off work on some worms work on some music um i just picked up another gig out of out of hong kong uh and i gotta redo some stuff out of china for a, a big project very prestigious and on sunday i have all intentions and plans of going to do stadium runs um I'm not gonna run. Like I, I'm gonna walk, maybe gingerly, maybe run a little bit up and down the stadium because I did hit the gym four full days this week, plus today's debacle. So just to let y'all know, it's not all sunshine, rainbows, kittens, puppies, and PRs. There's bad days too, 
Um, they, yeah, and that's it. So I hope you guys have a good weekend. Everybody, it seems like everybody but me is on vacation. So y'all enjoy your vacations. And I'll see y'all when you get back to town. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you soon.